this free food. You just want to give you an idea, show you where we at. We out here of Lake Langford uh, Parkway, Stanton. I think we're Stanton Road. Stanton yeah. Road. Stanton what? The low road. The yeah, yeah, the low. Stanton and the low out here in Atlanta. I want to show y'all. Yeah, Camilton. We want to show y'all the background. We got Brother Demarcus. Come out here to bring the gospel. We got the posters up. You know, we got to come out here to our people, man, and in places where you got brothers afraid to come at. We come out here to bring this gospel. Can't be afraid of their faces. You gotta do the work. With that said, we're gonna get this thing cranked up, just so y'all know. See the police car over there. So I don't know why it's there, but it didn't get here until we pulled up. So, you know, Satan ought to do his job. i let you know we're doing our job. So, praise the Lord. Getting ready for Passover tonight. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Oh, thank you. What's up, bro? No much, man. We finna get ready to bring this gospel, man. Finna sound the law, man. Let our people know who we are according to the scripture, man. We the children of Israel, bro. And America's getting ready to come down, dog. So we come out here to our folks, man. Let us let them know it's time for us to get up, man. And turn back to the most high, dog. According to the Bible, we the real children of the scripture, dog. You understand what I'm saying? They ain't telling us that, man. Sunday church has got us jacked up, man, lying to us, man, got us thinking we Gentile, man. According to the Bible, we the real Jews, according to the Bible, though. That's why every city you go to, you see our neighborhoods look exactly like this, man. Because the Lord got the curse on us because of our disobedience, man. But it's time for us to wake up, man. It's time for us to wake up and turn back, dog. We ain't got much time, man. You can't pull stuff up on the wall like you We can't? Yeah, you can't do it like that. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I, I respect that, but you don't know. Right. But well, we just take it down, all right? Yeah, yeah. Can we, can we stand up here and teeth, though? Yeah, yeah, you stand up here and teeth. Okay. But well, we just take it down. Yeah, just take it down. Okay. I mean, but ain't no problem, bro. I respect all that, you know? Right, yeah. Talk to you more about it. All right, that's what's up, bro. I appreciate you, man. All right. What is this spot? No, you secured it for the spot. All right, take on that one. See, that's how you're supposed to deal with each other. Thanksgiving in the Bible. You can't 
find none of those things in the Bible, but we still try to take part in it. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why we're so judged up at the feet, man. We got to get it together, man, because the Lord getting ready to destroy this place, man. We came into America to serve out a certain captivity. And what we're doing right now, we're serving our captivity out, but we're getting ready to come out of captivity. And before we come out of captivity, a lot of people got to go. A lot of people going to die, especially the children of Israel because of our disobedience. You understand what I'm saying? These ships right here, bro. The reason why we came into captivity is because of the, our forefathers breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. You see that right now? The Bible tell you in Deuteronomy 28, 6 day, and you're going to, uh, uh, we, we, got, we was going to go into captivity by ships and be sold to our enemies and bomb in the bomb with them, and no man should buy you. Meaning ain't nobody going to free you from your condition. You're going to stay in captivity until the Lord said we done with captivity. So right now, we serving our captivity. And we ain't came out of it yet, but we get ready to come out of captivity. Our forefathers broke the law, statutes, and commandments, so we suffering right now. And guess what? Our kids gonna suffer because we keep doing the same thing our forefathers did. What did our forefathers do? They worship other God. You understand what I'm saying? When they came out of the wilderness, when the Lord delivered them through the Red Sea, what did they do in the wilderness? They started worshiping God the ruler of the stone. So now you got us worshiping God the ruler of the stone. You got brothers going over the blessed method to kiss a rock. You got us bringing in the Christmas tree in our house door on December 25th. And we bow down right under that tree, man, and we worship that tree. So the Lord say, just by us provoking him to jealousy, he gonna bring another nation over us and provoke us to jealousy. And that was the Gentiles who you see in rulership right now. You see the Asian, you see the Korean, you see the Arab, the East Indians, and also the Gentile race, which is also the white nation. You see all these different nations that are above us, because the Lord said he will make us the head and not the tail, if we kept his law, statutes, and commandments. So by us breaking those law, statutes, and commandments, you see us at the bottom, everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. All you gotta do is go to downtown Atlanta. Look at the hood. Go to downtown Jacksonville, Florida. Look at the hood, you're gonna find us. Go to Miami, Florida, you're gonna find us in downtown. Look at the hood. Now they're getting rid of them. Now they're starting to push us out. You know what I'm saying? Because they want it back now. They want to build it up and make it pretty. Yeah, they're gonna build it back up. <laughs> they want to bring it back. But see, because that's why they're kicking us out. But they know, that's why they call it ghetto, man. The word for ghetto means a place where Jews dwell. You understand what I'm saying? So you got brothers saying, I'm ghetto this, I'm ghetto that. Don't realize they saying, this is where the Jews hang out at. That's why they know. They know who we are going to the Bible. Everybody you know, know but us. <laughs> you, be, you found the Jews on everything in the ghetto. Right. And that's our brother. That's Esau. They're not the Jews according to the Bible. According to the Bible, the Jews are in tribulation. The Jews are unpopular. Okay, the ones who running everything, they might be Jews, brother. That's what I'm about to take Revelation 2 and 9. I know that works in that tribulation. And I know that poverty, but but that are rich. And there are those who say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So that means their father is the devil. We ain't the, wrong, we ain't the one that go around and calling ourselves Jews. It's another nation of people, which is Esau, which is the brother of Jacob. Jacob was our forefather. You understand what I'm saying? We the one had rulership until we disobeyed and broke the law, statute, and commandment, and now they ruling over us. And we serving our captivity, man. But we gotta wake up, man, because we get ready to come back to our right from place. Free, 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 take it, bro. We get ready to come back to our right from place, man, to be a king and queens, man. You understand what I'm saying? We supposed to be teaching this gospel, man. You got other nations teaching the gospel. That's why we so confused. That's why if, if, if you look at that Bible, man, the Bible is so elementary. But you got other nations teaching it and we confused, man. They got us jacked up. Man. They got us jacked up. So look around, dog, and look at what the other nations taught us and look how it got us jacked up. Here it is, we worrying about getting big rims and stuff like that when the gas about to go to $10 a gallon, man. How you gonna pay for it? But, what, that's what I'm saying, but as a nation of people we are. You might not be per se, but the, the main mindset of us as a nation, we want wins, we want gold, we want money. When all that stuff is ready to come down, dog, so what you gonna have to sustain you after that fall? Got the food stopped up in the house? Got the water stopped up? No, we don't. Because we said we said the kingdom to come and sit here. Is that again? Wait, that, yeah, I'm glad you do, man. They never cared about us, man. But you can't blame them. The Lord is going to put us in this situation. Because, like I said earlier, our forefathers broke the law of statute of limitations. So we get whooped. That's why he said, all families of the earth, you have, only, only you have our number. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity. So we get beat. It don't make sense for you. Well, for him to do something wrong, and my son to do something wrong. I mean, it don't make sense. That's this your son? You know him? Okay. It don't make, this your son, right? All right, so it would make sense for my son. Say I got my son right here standing next to me. 
your son next to you. My son take a rock and hit that man in the face with a rock. Okay? It will not make sense for me to turn around and beat him with it. don't make sense, do it. It doesn't make sense for me to whoop my son, right? That's why the Bible said, wrong families of the earth only you have, I know. That's why I'm a funny. Yo, we need. That's why we get beat. It don't make sense for him to beat nobody else. It wasn't their job to beat. It's our job to get out here. That's why I'm all in. And matter of fact, just so you know, bro, we're not African either, okay? They tell us that we're not African. We're African, so the Negroes are the captain. But just because we're a dark color, we look the same, we're not the same people. So Barack Obama, that's not your people, man. Okay, I'll get my dictionary, my man, and leave this in the corner. Barack Obama is an African. Africans and Negroes are not the same people, okay? But they told you that that's a part of the Bible and the proverb that the Lord said when you go into captivity, they're going to call you Bible and proverb. So they gave you points, Michael. They gave you coon. They gave you uh, uh, stepping figure. They gave you nigger. They gave you boy. They gave you color folks. You understand what I'm saying? These are the Bible and proverbs that they gave you, okay? Anything that will give you anything just so you never find out who you really are. But the Lord said in the last day, in the latter days, the knowledge would increase. And these people would start to wake up, man. The valley of the dry bones that you hear these pre these preachers talking about in the church, which they really can't preach the sermon, they be going off. They actually talking about us, man. The valley of the dry bones is us. We the one that are walking dead. Everybody got a nation, everybody know who they are, but uh, let me show you something like this. Before you, before you go, man. Let, let, me, let me show you something just to prove that to you. See that right now? See that? That said Ham, though. Okay? Now, y'all remember Ham, uh, Noah had three sons. Noah had three sons. Though. Ham, Shem, and Jephthah, right? All right? Noah had three sons. Ham, Shem, and Jephthah. All right, so let's see what Ham was. Now, this is, this, this is Donovan Contact, y'all can get you here, okay? A Gentile wrote this. A Gentile published, okay? So this ain't my own saying. Let's see who Ham was. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor, or father, of the dark races, not the Negro, but the Egyptian, Ethiopian, Libyans, and Canaanites. So if Ham is the father of the dark races, not the Negroes, then who was our father? Shem. That's who our father is. We come from the line of Shem. Shem, Shem, uh, Shem was the father of Terah. Terah was the father of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac was the father of Jacob. Jacob begot the twelve tribes, which the tribe of so-called Negroes came out of the tribe of Judah. Some of us may came came out of the other eleven tribes that exist, but they're still here today. Man. You know what I'm saying? But they wiped our memory out, so we have no understanding of who we are. Man. You're not African, okay? One of the best things they can do for us put Barack Obama in the face. Barack Obama is an African. His father from Kenya, right? Right. He knows he's an African. He knows we are the children of Israel. So they put him up there to deceive us. Just think about it, man. The same spirit that dwelt back in the day in Babylon, in Egypt back in the day, don't you see it taking place again? Don't you see the Pharaoh up above the, the Israelites again? Just like it was back then? How the Pharaoh was over the Israelites back then? The Lord had to deliver them out of them? What you think he's gonna do with them? The same as that thing, man. That's why he said, I'm the Lord, I changed not. So just like he delivered our forefathers out of Egypt, he's gonna deliver us out of this Egypt. Egypt, according to the Bible, means house of bondage. Okay? That's why on the back of the dollar bill, you see a pyramid which signifies, which signifies house of bondage, your condition of slavery. You ever wonder why that pyramid looks like a dollar? But when you think about a pyramid, what you think about? You think about Egypt, right? Because they know the real Jews sitting here in captivity. They know the Jews ain't sitting over there in Israel, man. Those are, that's Esau. Those are Israelis. They don't even call themselves Israelites. Because they know they're not Israelites. That's somebody who stole your identity. And it's right in the Bible. Yeah, it is. People that stole your identity and proudly represented your identity. But the Lord's going to deal with it. The Lord gonna deal with us, dog, because according to the scripture, we are the real children. We the real children according to the scripture, man. This is how it's done that we turn back like this man. We ain't got much time, man. Y'all finna start seeing destruction here, man. Y'all finna see destruction here like y'all never seen before, man. You understand what I'm saying? That's why the Lord released the spirit for the brothers that's come out, man, into the streets, man, the highways and the byways, man. The church is lying, man. A lot of the churches, man, a lot of the churches are part of things, man. To get the members to go into the concentration camp that they got set up for. Understand what I'm saying? So they're not telling us, man. I was on the Creflo for seven and a half years, man. I was raised in Pentecostal Church, 19 years of my life, man. Seven and a half years. That was 19 years before I even came to Atlanta. 
Then up on the Crow Flow seven and a half years, man, couldn't tell me nothing about it. I mean, you couldn't say nothing bad about it.